Mods for Minecraft 1.19. You're here to install them, but before you can install them, you need Forge. So check out the I at the top of your screen or in the description down below, or at the end of this video, it's also linked in the end cards at the very end, but it's easier to get there in the description or at the I at the top of your screen and come here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Forge. This tutorial will be updated for 1.19. I literally just recorded the 1.19 updated tutorial. You've got to have Forge in order to get Minecraft mods. And once you do come back to this video, we're going to show you how to find Minecraft mods. We're going to show you how to successfully download them, download the correct versions of them, and even make sure that you're getting the correct mod loader version of a mod. So it's all covered in this video, but you will need Need forge in order for this to work so go check out this tutorial here in-depth text tutorial awesome video tutorial on our website once you've done that though what about finding minecraft mods well this is where you can find mods this is the third link in the description down below and this is where you can find some awesome mods now first off i would recommend selecting version right here and then scrolling down to minecraft 1.19 and that way you can make sure all of these mods are 1.19 minecraft mods right one of those is journey map right and journey maps also linked in the description because we're going to install journey map in this video and any of the mods linked in the description could take you to our website where we have dedicated tutorial for those click the yellow download button on the website and it will take you to the official mod download page now one thing worth mentioning is when you get to a journey map download page via curse forge which by the way right here is the same download page the exact same one here right once you're here, you want to make sure that a mod is for Forge. Now, there's one way to do that. If you just hover over next to game version, a lot of times, right there, Forge, right? Plus one, that's Forge. If it says Forge and Fabric, then the next step is going to be coming over here to the right-hand side and scrolling down to the 1.19 section and making sure you're downloading the Forge version. Now, Journey Map is just for Forge, so... Once you're on the download page, come to the right-hand side, scroll down, and click the orange download button to the right of that. While Journey Map is downloading, have a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we also our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and it is so easy to start a modded server with Apex. You literally just select that you want to start a modded server with Forge, and you're good to go. You can also one-click install hundreds of different mod packs. It's truly incredible, so check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown down to xyz slash apex to get it up and running now next up after you have journey map downloaded by the way when you download a mod you may need to keep or save it depending on your browser that's 100 percent safe as long as it is a trusted mod from curse forge here nevertheless inventory hud i wanted to specifically mention because if we hover over it it says java 17 and forge however if we come to the right hand side and scroll down we can see there is a Forge version and a Fabric version. If you ever see this, you want to get the Forge version if you're using the Forge mod loader. So as you can see, Forge 1.19, that's the version that we want, so click on the orange download button there. From there, the download process is the same. Same thing for Biomes Plenty, right? Go to our website, click the yellow download button, and then once you're here though, come to the right hand side and scroll down. But sometimes you might install a mod like Biomes Plenty, and it'll say it requires something. Well, Bombs of Plenty requires Terra Blender, right? It requires this mod here. All of this is in the description, but it's something to look for. Compatibility mods are something that plagues so many Minecraft mods, and unfortunately, Bombs of Plenty of one of them, and Terra Blender is what it needs. So over here on the right-hand side, scroll down, download the 1.19 Bombs of Plenty mod, as well as its compatibility mod, Terra Blender. So come here, scroll to the right hand side, and click download. With all the mods we're installing today Journey Map, Inventory HUD, Bombs of Plenty, and Terra Blender downloaded, let's install them. So I'm assuming you've already installed Forge, and if that's the case, awesome. Let's go ahead and get these installed. If you don't have Forge, you need to install it in order to make these mods work. Now, the easy way to install mods is to go ahead and open up Forge, right like so, right? Just launch into your Minecraft launcher, and then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, play Minecraft either with your Forge profile or with a profile you've created that has Forge. That's how you do step one of installing mods, right? Just open up Minecraft with Forge. From there, you click a few buttons and can do some drag and dropping. Now, one thing you might notice is that our mods are kind of nowhere to be found. That's because they're in the downloads folder. To get those, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, or in the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads, and then in here, you'll find a downloads folder. Open that, and then in here, you'll find all of the mods that you downloaded. I like moving these to the desktop because it's just easier to manage them, but it is not required. Now, here we are on the Minecraft main menu with Forge. As you can see in the bottom left, Forge is installed. 
From here, click Mods, click on Open Mods folder, and now drag and drop all of your Forge mods into here. Now at this point, I know these are all going to work, so we can close out of it, click Done, and you will need to restart Minecraft. But let's say you did try to restart Minecraft, and for whatever reason, it didn't work, right? It didn't launch. You can't launch Minecraft. What do you do? How do you play mod in Minecraft? How do you get those mods out of there? Because obviously, one of them is broken. Well, to do that, just click on Installations up here at the top. Then find your Forge installation, and click on the folder. Then you'll find a mods folder. Boom, there it is, and there are all of the mods when we open it up. You can come into a mod, your mods folder this way if you have issues to delete mods, remove mods, and honestly, if you do have an issue, just remove every mod one at a time or add them back one at a time. Either way, until you find the one that's not working. Nevertheless, though, this is going to work, so we can just come here, make sure that forge is selected, click play, click play again, and then Minecraft will open up with our Forge mods installed. So simple and so easy to get these mods. And uh, honestly, I love how simple Forge has made it. Back in the day, you had to like press, you know, go into basically this run app and do all that stuff to get to it. Not anymore. You can access it from the Minecraft launcher. You can access it from Minecraft itself. Super, super cool, and one of the best things about Minecraft mods. Now, one thing to note as this video is coming out, Forge is in beta. You will have bugs, you will have issues. So if you have random crashes and things like that, report them to the developers once you narrow it down to what mod and what's causing it, and the developer of the mod or a Forge can work that out. But if we go into mods here, we can see Inventory Hut, Terra Blender, Bombs of Plenty, and Journey Map. And of course, we can go into single player and jump into a world here and see these working. Bombs of Plenty might not be able to be showcased too easily here because of, well, um, this is an existing world. But anyway, if we go ahead and hit J, we can see there is Journey Map right there. And then we also obviously have Inventory HUD. Boom. Awesome stuff. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your brand spanking new Minecraft 1.19 mods.